Can I smoke in here? No? Killjoys. I didn't do it. Let's just say I had a personal interest in attending Sir Frederick's New Year's celebration. My ex-husband invited me. He fancied to see me again, I suppose. Friend convinced me to come. I do remember the victim, Sir Frederick, talking to someone for a while. Awful taste, that man. I mean, who matches a black belt with brown shoes? Apparently you. He seemed angry. May he burn in hell. Oh. Frankly, the hors d'oeuvre were terrible. A lot of people wanted to see him dead. He was one of the richest people around. He made a lot of money off of little people's backs. That isn't right, if you ask me. <laughs> I couldn't care less about his death. Doesn't mean I killed him. Shot. Shot. Shot! I, I thought he was stabbed. stabbed. And don't even get me started on the champagne. Not even chilled. I was busy interviewing with service personnel. We were having a grand old time. I already told you I did not see anything. Listen. You know, I am actually quite a busy man. <laughs> One second. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. You know, what I do remember is this lifeless look in his eyes. Almost guilty. Mom, you're not allowed to smoke in here. Shut up! <laughs> or I'll crush your balls with my nine inch heels, okay? I just had too much to drink, okay? I barely remember anything. It's just a question between friends, really. We're not friends. A favor to ask. I should never have invited my ex-wife to this party. Could you imagine taking these plastic handcuffs off me now? Have you killed him for that reason? Why would I kill my brother if I do not care about him? I'm just glad someone did it. Now that we're done here, could you take these blasted handcuffs off of me? Well, everyone has secrets, right? Can I... Go. Do you think I could get a copy of everyone's fingerprints once you're done with the investigation?